Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm going ahead and joining my fruit corner to corner crochet pieces together. So um, I'm just using one of my favorite joins, which is the slip stitch join. I've actually already joined a bunch of these. I'm just using my leftover Red Heart Super Saver in soft white. So you can't actually see the join. Um, looks pretty much clean and since we're working on these rough edges around the corner to corner crochet pieces uh, you won't be able to see any kind of you know mistakes or the seam not lining up perfectly um, and here's the back side I still need to weave in some ends here but I mean it looks pretty clean and the fruit really stands out along the white and then we are going to add a fun border. Um, so just to go, go over this join technique again. So here's a spot where I need to join these. I've already joined going across and they don't line completely up so I'll also have to join that. I'll just fasten off and join again when I'm ready for that. Okay so the slip stitch join I'm pulling my yarn, I'm just starting in the corner, pulling the yarn up on one side, and then I'm just gonna join that to the other color just to start, and just slip stitch that together. Kind of pull tight. And then we're just gonna work back and forth, slip stitching along either side. Now, you can really work your hook down into kind of any parts of these uh, corner to corner crochet pixel squares that you've made. Um, it doesn't really have to look that neat if you're using that same coordinating yarn. So I'm just kind of working in the middle of those little corner to corner crochet squares. You could work into here. I'm just gonna honestly pull my hook up there wherever you can kind of fit it in and get that join going. Just make sure it lines up. Just back and forth. This edge. So see how nicely that's working. I'm honestly kind of being really random just one or two along each of these edges. Just pause, make sure everything's lining up, which it is. Kind of get that zigzag look. Very clean on the back side. And just continue and then weave in your ends at the end of each seam. Just gonna kind of get down in here, finish stitching that up. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Just get my hook down in here. And I'm gonna fasten off and then just weave that in. I have a little bit left over just to do my last join up here. And everything will be joined together. And then I will show you how to do the border. All right, let's start on the border on our fruit corner to corner crochet project. I am just gonna start along the top. Uh, we're gonna be working in between these uh, little pixel square, corner to corner crochet squares. So I'm just kind of inserting my hook so you can see where we're gonna be working on this first round. I'm gonna start with red. You can choose any color for your border. Uh, so for this round, I'm just joining in 
I'm just gonna chain one and make a single crochet just to start in, in I'm just kind of picking a random spot. I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna reach over here to that next spot, single crochet, chain two, reach over to that next spot, single crochet, chain two, that next space, two chains, single crochet in the next space, chain two, and so on. And then when we get to the border, we're almost there. I mean, sorry, the border, the, the corner, I'm just gonna reach my hook right in that space, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two again. Again, and then continue along the next edge, making those single crochets between those corner to corner squares. Chain two, single crochet again. And then just do that all the way around. And then we are gonna join back up just to this first, um, single crochet right here and we'll continue with the second round okay for the second round of our border I have gone ahead and joined I slip stitched I'll go back one I'm just slip stitching over so I'm working in that first chain space I'm just gonna chain two that's not gonna count really for anything just brings us up to where our stitches need to be and I'm gonna be doing two half double crochets in each of these chain spaces. So here's the next one. And just make two half double crochets. Reach over to that next space, two half double crochets. So let's just keep going. I'm sticking with that red color and then I'm going to change to another color. This blanket is so bright and colorful. We need to use all of our fun shades from the Red Heart Super Saver um, box, our curated box, or if you happen to have these colors on hand, you could use those too. Okay, now I've come to that corner. I'm just gonna do one half double crochet, a chain two, and another half double crochet. So the, that's what's gonna be in your corner stitches. Now I'm just working over to that next chain two space. And again, just continue around. And I'll meet you back at the start. This is what it should look like. All right, for the next round of the border, I have finished those last two half double crochets. I'm just gonna go ahead and join to that first double crochet, but I'm going to be adding in a new color. I'm gonna do pink next, and you could do as many rounds as this as you'd like. I'm gonna be doing quite a few different colors. So I'm going with the pink next, and we're kind of smooth sailing. So all we're gonna do, if I can get my yarn attached, there we go. I'm just gonna chain two and make that half double crochet. And each stitch all the way around. Like I said, smooth sailing. You can easily work on this while watching a show, chatting, multitasking. And feel free to add as many rounds of colors as you'd like just with the same pattern. And I'm just gonna show you here, we're just doing ha half double crochets in each half double crochet from the previous round. Okay, and when I get to the corner, we're almost there. Okay, here's my corner space. 
we're just gonna do the like we did before the half double crochet chain two and another half double crochet right in that corner and then just go ahead and keep going making those half double crochets in each half double crochet from the previous round Pretty simple, right? So I'm just gonna finish this and then I'm gonna switch to basically all my other colors in the blanket. I'm gonna be doing orange, yellow, green, um, that jade color, the purple, and then we're gonna have a little fun with the last round, which is gonna be in brown. So I'm gonna do all of my colors with my half double crochets and then I will uh, show you how to do uh, the very last part of it if you are interested or you could just leave your blanket like this up to you get creative but um, let me finish this up and we will meet back after a couple more rounds all right I finished all of the rainbow colors of our fruit for uh, the first part of our border on our corner to corner crochet for fruit blanket now I have this idea since it's full of fruits. I thought maybe we could make this a fruit basket and do a little bit of a basket weave pattern for the end of our um, border here. So I'm grabbing the Red Heart Super Saver in Cafe Latte. This is our nice brown yarn. And we're just gonna make this kind of look like a bit of a basket. I just thought it would be a cute little finishing touch here. So I'm just joining in the brown yarn here. I'm gonna chain two, and now we're gonna be making double crochets. And for this um, first round of the basket weave part of this, we it's just double crochets um, all the way around. And then we're gonna be working in front post and back post double crochets alternating um, for the rest. So we will get to that once we finish this first round. So again, these were all half double crochets and now we're doing double crochets with the brown yarn. And then when we get to the corner, we will be doing the double crochet and two chains and another double crochet in the corner. Kind of like we were before with the half double crochets, but don't forget we've switched to the double crochet stitches now. Okay, so I'm in the corner, so I'm doing a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet, and then start working in those stitches again from the previous round all the way around. Okay, so let's just pause, take a look. Easy peasy so far. So I'll meet you back and then we'll start the front post and the back post double crochets, which will give us a little bit of a basket weave look. All right, now that we have our first round of double crochets in that brown yarn, we are going to join to that first double crochet. You can chain two or three, whatever you prefer. I like to chain two. Um, and then we're gonna do our front post and our back post double crochets alternating. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm going to be working in the post. So this part of the double crochet from the previous round. So normally you would work your hook right into the top of the stitch. I'm going to be coming from the front and just grabbing the post of the stitch and making that double crochet. Now for the next one, I'm going to be doing a back post double crochet. So I'm yarning over and I'm coming around the back. And so it's like I'm pushing it to the back 
And then I'm going to be making my, oh, I snagged something there. Let's try that again. There we go. Making that double crochet. Now I'm going to do a front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. So you can see it starts pushing those double crochets forward and backward. And we are just going to do this uh, all the way around. Except for not when we get to those corners, we're just going to be doing our regular corner stitches. And then the next round I will show you that when we get there. We're going to do the same front post, back post, but we are going to be altern alternating it. So we'll start with a back post and then a front post. And that's going to give us this basket weave look. It already looks so nice. Kind of like a little basket, and we can make it as long as we want. So let's keep going. Just alternating those front post and back post stitches. There we go. Front post. And then a back post. And then a front post. And then I'm just going to make a corner stitch. So uh, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then continue with front post and back post. Front post and back post. Okay look like that. So let's just pause there. And I'll meet you back at the start. All right, so you should have finished doing your round of front post and back post double crochets alternating. We are going to go ahead and join to the top of that double crochet, chain two. Now the first one I did was a front post. So now we're going to alternate and do back post and then the next one we'll do a front post. All right, so the back post, I'm reaching around from the back, making that back post double crochet. And then this was a back post. So now I'm going to do a front post. I'll go to the next one where we do the back post double crochet. And then go back to the front post and just alternate. So now let me pause a second. You start to get, it's a little hard to see on camera, you really start to get this woven type basket weave pattern. Isn't that great? I think it looks so cute, like, like a basket, like a fruit basket. Really is a nice little technique, a great border for our fruit blanket. And you can just keep going with this 
for as many rounds as you'd like, of course, alternating. I need a little bit of a bigger swatch to see that, but just like a basket weave. So I'm gonna do this round. Um, I think I have enough yarn in here to do at least one more after this. And then we're gonna call it good for this blanket. Of course, you could make this as thick as you want. You decide. Remember, I am, um, I do have a deal going on right now with Red Heart Yarn over on yarnspirations.com. And I am um, selling the yarn for this blanket or whichever project you'd like to use in a boxed bundle. So you get 12 skeins of Red Heart yarn in these solid colors. I will list them all out and you can buy them all at once at a discounted price. Everything you need to make this blanket um, or any other projects you'd like. It's kind of one of those start your stash type um, bundles just because it has those basic colors that you always need and work with at least for the bright and cute projects you might find on repeatcrafterme.com. So I'm gonna finish this. Of course, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. You can find all these fruit um, corner to corner crochet squares and I'll have the pattern written out for the border on repeatcrafterme.com. I hope you have enjoyed this blanket as much as I have. It's, we've been working on it for about two weeks, so I can't wait to see your versions as well.